Hi guys and welcome to VR Essentials where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and today we have some huge, oh my god, some good, I don't know what this means but this is big news as HTC Vive new images of their potential HTC Air VR headset is this the standalone that we're waiting for to be revealed on May 11th and 12th during ViveCon? Who knows, but let's talk about it. Now the designs were submitted to IF International Forum Design GmbH that organized one of the world's most celebrated and valued design competitions. Now the IF Design Awards, which is what it's called, is recognized as a symbol of design excellence around the world. And this year, they've had around 10,000 submissions. Now that's pretty big, including the HTC Vive Air. Mm. Now I quote, the HTC Vive Air VR headset is specially designed for virtual fitness, optimized for high intensity with long use. Now if HTC go in this route for their marketing strategy, that is a very good call HTC, really like that because of course VR and the fitness industry are huge. They could potentially market this thing to all the various different gyms across the world where tons of people who pay memberships for all these things of course, COVID is still happening at the moment, but you know, not just the consumer could buy one for their own home, but also big, huge corporations could buy this for their employees. And when they're doing fitness, guess what? They could be using one of those specialized HTC Air standalones. Why not? I continue, inspired by sports shoes, the new headset introduces knitted materials to VR to provide unprecedented comfort and fit. Now I have to admit that this really reminds me of a certain brand, doesn't it? Nike, of course, with the Nike Airs. The breathable and quick drying fabric improves ventilation in the heated exercise. The innovative lightweight structure allows users to forget the presence of the head mounting display to focus on virtual content. The quick release design allows the removal of ergonomic soft components of washing. I have to say that design wise, it looks really good, really comfortable, and it just looks very light, the halo design there, there's no extra strap and all these kind of things. It just simply goes on your head, no need for anything else, which is reminiscent of the next Apple, which also doesn't have three straps. It just has one strap to go on your head. So this could mean it's actually gonna be very, very light indeed. And then most importantly, there's a little box there that says date of launch 2021, development time 25 to 36 months. Can you believe? It's taken that long to develop this thing. Target regions, Asia, Europe, North America, target groups, consumer, user specific subgroup, VR fitness. So this could well be the information that we need as confirmation that could be the standalone VR headset that we're looking for that could be launched in ViveCon, you know, in May. Of course, it's possible they could have two different VR headsets. Who knows, it could also be very possible that this was just a design for the competition and it's not gonna be released as is. Who knows, we don't know, but this is big guy, this is really huge. I will try to contact HTC to try and see if we can get a confirmation. Of course, they're not really gonna release any more information to, to us and those who do have the headset probably had to sign an NDA in any case. So we're just gonna have to get it as we go along. So make sure to be part of the notification squad so you do subscribe. You do click the enable bell, sorry, after you subscribe so YouTube tells you in your feed when we keep you up to date that video that we posted on your YouTube feed. So until then, guys, this is so exciting and pumped. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.